we're um, starting our unit um, in the subjunctive. Um, the good news for all of you is that from what I can understand, the subjunctive that we are about to do in Latin 2 seems to be a little bit easier than the subjunctive stuff that they do in Spanish and by extension French and things like that. I hear all these students coming in to ask um, my Spanish teacher colleagues um, about, you know, do I use the subjunctive for this or do I use the indicative? And there are all these like weird nuances and exceptions and loopholes and things like that. So this is not to say that your subjunctive experience here will be easy, but I think it'll be easier than if you were in Spanish. So kudos for you for staying in room 317. Um, <clears throat> So the subjunctive, you watched this video um, with Mr. Tran last week on the Ed Puzzle. Um, <clears throat> what did you notice about the subjunctive? Yeah? That it basically changed his life for the better, that he was able to see things through like a brighter picture. Okay, okay. Did you like the TED Talk in general? Yeah. Yeah, I think it was, I don't know, I, for me it was sort of a, a prototypical TED Talk because it looked at something through a brand new lens that you would never have considered you know, thinking about it. So this is thinking about the individual and life and family through the lens of verb tenses and, you know, things that may or may not happen. Um, according to Mr. Tren, what are the three moods of verbs? Uh, indicative, subjunctive, and imperative. Good. So you did indicative verbs up until this very point in time. Um, you know six tenses within the indicative mood. And then also, um, in your Latin 1 experience, you worked a lot with imperative verbs or commands. And so now we approach the third mood of verbs, which is the subjunctive. So, without further ado, here is your very first subjunctive tense. It's the imperfect tense. Imperfect and we start tense, with the imperfect subjunctive. Peterem, peteres, peteret, peteremus, peteretis, peterent. Excellent. Now I'd like for you to write in or type in the verb form that you think should be created in Latin that is imperfect and subjunctive. Okay. Um, Kenaretur is close, but that's actually a passive form, which would mean that Cornelia was being eaten, which kind of fits in with the Game of Thrones theme, but not exactly. <coughs> Kenaret, good. A nice active form there. Good. <coughs> Kenaret, good. Thanks for the red. 